The importance of the wetlands, in our view, is that the, the wetlands are the kidneys of the river. And, and so, with the river so degraded after this uh, uh, time because of uh, a number of uh, different aspects, the wetlands actually have a wonderful, uh, play a wonderful role in filtering out some of that, um, that the stuff that you don't really want in the main body of the river. Part of our work with Lankia Research will be to actually research how pristine the river was, uh, how, uh, how beneficial it was to have uh, the wetlands in cahoots uh, with the river, and then how do we get back to that? Because uh, research is wonderful, but research that sits on a shelf and gathers dust is no good to anybody. But research that actually informs an action plan is beneficial not only to the people, but to the river itself. Chinese philosophers have said, you know, the, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a small step. And so we know that it's not going to be able to turn around overnight. Uh, we've been discussing around about 80 years or, or thereabouts. Now that's a long time uh, to some people, but really that's only your grandchildren's children. We don't see this as only a, a Waikato Tainui thing or solely a Māori thing. Māori communities, councils, whomever have to work together. The tribe doesn't have all the answers, but neither do the CRIs as well. And so it's important that we collaborate together, that we work together in partnership for the betterment of the Waikato River its tributaries, lakes and streams. It's ultimately about looking after our wetlands, so not everything is about restoration, it's how to go in and assess a wetland, to monitor a wetland from a cultural perspective, there's, about, uh, there's a section about processes, how to engage um, with Kaimata to find out what were the resources that were used in the wetlands, what have not been used now you know, and, and why. Um, there are sections on individual resources such as harakiki, such as kota, um, on individual birds, so it's a range of things. It doesn't cover everything, but we see it as a living document. And it is focused on Waikato Tainua area, because those are the people we work with. But we do have national perspectives too from other people that have generously contributed chapters. Um, so it, it, it's, it's to share with tribal members, with iwi throughout New Zealand, but also it's important for managers and researchers to understand cultural priorities in wetlands. So this is for everybody, so people can see, well, if they restore a wetland, they need to consider other things besides just the, the biophysical components. There's been work done to show that 90% of our wetlands have been destroyed since European settlement, so that's since about 1840, so we have only 10% left, which is one of the worst records in the Western world on a global scale. And the problem is many of our wetlands that remain, they are steadily degrading because there's too little water, there's too many weeds, there's too many pests, there's too many nutrients, so it, it needs a lot of work. So the reason we got the wetland program going was because unless we do something about these wetlands, we're just going to lose them. We're going to lose the tikanga and the resources that, that, that iwi um, grew up with. So it's about helping our wetlands, but also looking at it from different perspectives and to try and to basically bring back or restore all aspects of wetlands. So the cultural aspect is really important. The handbook was conceived through just this um, ability to be able to showcase what a lot of the wonderful work that's been done throughout the country. So it really is it's our, our people telling our stories uh, from a cultural point of view. So what we're doing is showing how Mātauranga Māori and science can work together to develop frameworks or initiatives or projects that, that everyone can get involved in. It's not just one telling the other, it's, it's together. They, they, they each have a role to play when it comes to the restoration of any ecosystem.